Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, today in this video we are going to walk through how to apply for a Romanian e-visa when you are approved to study in Romania. Before I proceed further, I would like to clarify neither I am an immigration consultant nor I am a government body. So if you take anything out of this video, you do it, you do it at your own risk. My intention is to show you how to navigate through a service. So in front of you, I have opened official Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Romania site. You have a link apply for a visa. So I click on apply. The very first step it asks, uh, it gives you information like uh, attachment and how many days it's going to be valid and then it con collects your con uh, consent. If you are okay, click on next. Now it asks more information about authentication. So you need to provide email address, password, confirm password and this uh, capture. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to click on next. Once you do that, the system sends you an email with the file number and you need to use that file number and the password you use in the previous screen and this capture and then you can go to the next stage. Okay, so current nationality. So you need to answer based on your situation. Don't go what I'm entering. Country where you are living. Diplomatic. So this you can find online what's going to fall and let me see if I click on drop down with yeah. Based on the selection above, it's going to show you what you have available for your location and your situation. Do you have a biometric passport? Then select yes, otherwise select no. Okay, now here comes the choices. So you have airport, transit, transit, short stay, long stay. Under the long stay, I have for studies. Yeah next now uh, certain questions about your uh, this will impact your processing like if you're a family member of citizen of U eu switzerland or for, uh, if you are a family member of a romanian citizen just read it carefully and select accordingly i'm selecting this that i have nobody from those location supporting documents what are the need uh, the needs you have okay and it's advisable you upload it right here because anyway you have to do before that you cannot do and um, and uh, then size is also given okay so I'm just skipping it I'm going to the next section because my intention is to show you what are the things they ask oh If you want to go back at any time you can go click on back and you can see for example supporting documents you can see cost uh, turn of trainee consent of legal representation proof of organization legal financial means proof of pupil exchange scheme or educational proof of higher education degree language training agreement accommodation travel document proof of pursuing a course of study so that's what i said initially like you, like you when you have already been accepted proof of acceptance for studies proof of payment for fees so whatever is applicable in your case all right travel medical insurance all right now click on next data all right so i'm going to put some sample don't go by what i am entering okay date of birth let's say 2001 okay country of birth oh, sorry i think something is wrong with and character of my uh, and key of my keyboard place of residence nationality of birth Okay, good thing is like you can type and search in these boxes. That's simple. Phone number. Sample guys, don't go by this. 
details about the family like because these are not mandatory fields so i'm skipping it but you should do it why would you hide any information travel and current occupation ordinary some questions have been picked up this issuing authority you'll find in your passport but as it's not a mandatory field i'm skipping it for this sample video typical indian passports generally for 10 years but this sample video guys right but they may okay fine let's let me put a random date here perfect same country okay current occupation this is not mandatory right so anything that is not mandatory i'm skipping but oh maximum nine characters and you can save and come back later as well so you you should not feel pressurized to do everything uh, at once uh, multiple duration of say so if i see seven thirty days is it going to accept less than 90 so e visas are not for long okay so i'll make make it 89 previous if you have stayed previously provide that information next date of arrival uh, 8 ok date of departure let me see if the departure it's gonna accept such a long duration so let's say if I'm going for just put I'm, I'm giving it a try ok land route contact cost of covering myself whatever is applicable in your case I'm just doing this okay so it did accept all right so maybe they're issuing short, short duration visa but you can stay and you can find more information on the website because I'm not sure that you can stay or not so just find more information but this application can be done in this configuration so you can verify if that's correct or not because don't go by what I'm doing I, as I cannot take any risk details about the family if it is uh, I'm just skipping but you need to provide details regarding host hotel so you can fill the host and in the next section it will ask you to confirm and from there you can apply so I'm not gonna do that but you got the idea so thanks for watching this guys please subscribe to the channel thank you